and stop sleeping around with all these boys that have nothing to offer. If he has not married you, why are you opening your legs? I mean, please, let's not even start being religious about it. Like, I mean, what are what what for lack of a better word, what 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 are you bringing to the table? What what is he bringing to the table? A broke ass like the guy in this movie does not deserve to be sleeping with any woman, as far as I'm concerned. And you, 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 you are so in love that you are sleeping with this poverty stricken idiot. And her father warned her, but she didn't listen. Wow. What's up, everyone? This is Queen Billion, and this is Queen Billion movie review. So, recently, the movies Booker, um, Battle on Booker Street and the Giacomo came out. Battle on Booker Street by Funke Akindele and Ichakumo by Tony Abraham. They came out about the same time, like a week apart, and um, <laughs> literally watched the two of them within 24 hours of release. And I must say, well, there are two worlds apart. One was basically about sibling rivalry and um, polygamous settings and all of that while the other one was basically about revenge anger bitterness you know seeking revenge from the past from something that literally is you know nearly unforgivable so what are my thoughts about the two movies well there are great lessons to learn from the two of them like for example battle on booker street was very entertaining but yet filled with lessons a lot a myriad of emotions for me i laughed i cried i was angry i was excited it was was everything in between was very entertaining and you know the lesson was just the fact that there are no permanent enemies there are only permanent interests so that person that you feel is your enemy, why exactly are they your enemy? We need to have a, a time for self-reflection and really be sure that the battles that we are fighting are not the ones that we transferred from from the previous generation and we are now, you know, using it against ourselves in our own present generation, just like it was happening between Gejide and our, you know, stepsister. Their mothers were the rivals, but they transferred the anger and the, you know, jealousy and the envy to their children, which to which obviously most of the time doesn't make sense, and they fought for years, but eventually, fate brought them together and they had to, you know, liaise with each other, to become, you know, allies, and that was how, you know, the rivalry ended after all of those many years it was a very good lesson and like you know for me also there are if if you are fighting with someone well it's basic that's basically between the two of you so for me i would prefer to you know um not fight the person per se but basically give them a benefit of a doubt and truly like sort of experience them before i say oh this person is a bad person you understand so these mothers didn't even give these children the opportunity to even be sisters or to even have a healthy relationship or to even be friends right from the moment they were born even as babies they were set they were pitched against each other so mothers we need to be careful even in whatever situation that we find ourselves, not to pitch our children against the neighbor, against anybody. And children, even if your parents are telling you this person is our enemy, be sure to know why they are your enemy and, you know, and pick your own battles. And then for Ijakumo, well, mm, for me, it's left a sour, a very bitter taste in my mouth. It was dark all through. It was just a very, very sad story as far as I'm concerned. Um, well, maybe because I like ex movies that excite me. But this one was just a very gory, dark movie from the beginning to the end. 
But then it had its own story to tell. You know, the story of how um a young man that has poverty written all over him from generation to generation, had a girlfriend who had tribal marks. She was okay when he was when she was she was she was befitting of him when he was poor, but suddenly when she helped him to you know find a way to be relevant in the society, she suddenly became someone that was not befitting of his new status or the future that he hoped he was gonna get. So ladies out there, it's a learning it's a huge lesson. Be careful the kind of you know man that you feel is good enough for you when the two of you seemingly have nothing because the true character of a man shows up when he has money so you know it got to the point whereby they wanted to clean her up also to you know make her befitting but he said no even in the past though like he's the one that has a future and she was the one that made that opportunity happen and it didn't now stop there. It took something very precious from her, which is very, very unforgivable. That even made her lose face with her father and all of that. So it was is a good lesson for young ladies out there to be able to choose and pick the right man, you know. And not just and stop sleeping around with all these boys that have nothing to offer. If he has not married you, why are you opening your legs? I mean, please, let's not even start being religious about it. Like, I mean, what are what what for lack of a better word, what 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 are you bringing to the table? What what is he bringing to the table? A broke ass like the guy in this movie does not deserve to be sleeping with any woman, as far as I'm concerned. And you, 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 you are so in love that you are sleeping with these poverty stricken idiots. And her father warned her, but she didn't listen. So, young ladies out there, you need to listen when they are telling you, stop following this boy, stop following this boy, stop opening your legs, stop opening your legs, you know. And so that's my review for those, for the two movies. Um, They are very good lessons to learn, especially for young women, especially for young women. But for me... I will give um, the Funky Akindele movie, uh, let's say, a 9 over 10. And I will give um, the Ijakumo movie uh, a 7, well, based on the way the two of them le- left me feeling, you know. And based on probably the kind of movies that I like. But the truth is that they spent money, especially on that Ijakumo. Uh, uh, the visuals were something else. They really did spend money. They spent money. They spent money. But the storyline was not deep enough for me. It was as if it was quite rushed. And um, some of the scenes didn't seem necessary. It didn't really, you know, do it for me. You know. The story was going on well at the beginning. But I don't know. <laughs> just, it just, there was just something like sort of missing in the old, in the old stuff. But all in all, they were they are good movies. They are really good movies. They are really good movies. Okay, 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 okay. Before you are angry, oh, yeah, yeah. then you have Ram's fans. Okay, okay. I'll give you Jakuman eight, but I still prefer the, you know, I still prefer the the battle on Boca Street. It was really worth the hype. So today, that's been the movie review with Queen Billion. And uh, until next time, ciao, ciao, bye.